Just with continuity with yeah. all you guys back on the offensive line, how much does that help? Um, you know, there's not a lot. There's communication, but I mean, we can like change the lingo up. So, uh, you know, the defense isn't hearing the same thing over and over again. So, we can kind of use words that mean the same thing as the words that we, you know, have. And the O line knows that those mean what we were supposed to say. So, it makes it easy so the defense can't doesn't know what we're doing, and you know, all of us are on the same page. How big of a year is this for you individually, being a contract year? Um, you know, that's not really in my in my mindset. I kind of just want to, you know, get, get better as a player with pass pro and stuff and be there for you guys and not let them down. Have you let your representation know, though, hey, you could engage the Vikings? I'd love to maybe work on an extension. Um, I mean, that, that has to do with my agent. I'm just out here with the guys trying to get better and learning offense. And, you know, Flo has a good defense going and trying to get all the calls and stuff going. Are you now a full-fledged guard? I mean, do you look at yourself after all these years of playing guard, transitioning from tackle at Boise to guard now, do you look at yourself as a full-fledged guard? I mean, guard's the only thing I really know in the NFL, so I would say yes. Um, you know, if anything happens in the future, then I'll be up for it. But right now, I'm a guard, so looking forward to it. Thanks. We're talking about continuity, and then when you see someone like Garrett Bradbury, he's, had, he's gone through it, he's back here. How important is it, to, especially a guy at center, to kind of keep you guys all together now that you're in the second year under this offense? Yeah, for sure. I mean, play in, play out. Garrett knows what he's doing. He helps offense or offensive line get all on the same page and you know offensive line you, you need calls to do this you need to know what the front side and the back side's doing and um, he does a good job of that and uh, you know there's not if any there's not very many MAs going on so he does a good job to keep us all on the same page. And Kirk was saying listen you can't overemphasize just how important it is that now we can kind of come in and we already know what we're doing we already yeah. know each other it's now that we can kind of play off each other even just the looks we don't even yeah. have to speak words how important is that right now? Yeah for sure you know coming into the offense last year all of us had to learn like the plays and stuff um, and the different calls that this offense brought in but going into year two we kind of know what to expect and we can kind of dial in all the stuff we need to know out on the field. Ezra, I apologize if someone already asked this, but real quick, just with last week, a lot of guys were talking about just how this defense already is looking yeah. aggressive and showing different yeah. looks. How does that help you guys out as well at practice? Yeah, it helps with communication. Um, you know, no, seeing all these looks that are like, I mean, you wouldn't see these with the other defenses, but like week uh, first day install seems like week 12 already. So we're getting all these games and stunts and stuff, and it really makes it to where communication is paramount. And uh, I think we're doing a good job at it right now. And when we see less uh, complicated defenses in the future, um, it'll help us out. Yeah, I think Alexander was saying, hey, this is stuff that we'd have to prepare a week for. Yep. Sometimes we're getting different exotic looks every day. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're getting three-man twists right now in the past game. That, I mean, week, what are we, one week in OTA threes. And I mean, you just wouldn't see that with other defenses and stuff. So. It's fun, but also challenging, and it you know uh, makes uh, communication paramount. Thank you. Did you land on the ball when? Yeah, you man, uh, uh, knocked the wind out of me. Whew. I haven't had that happen probably like since middle school, high school. But I was trying to talk, but I couldn't get that wind back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good though. I mean, just what's that fine line though, where Andrew looked like he was trying to make a play on the ball, but right. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, where the, where the ball location was, I grabbed it. You know, he tried to you know knock it down, of course, but I mean, that's a touchdown, so I'm trying to hold on to it. So when I just came in to bring it down, I just fell on the ball. Happens, I, I would say happens all the time, but it hasn't happened to me much, so that's, that's, I'm gonna remember that one though. Is that just a competitive fire though? I mean, technically oh, yeah. you guys aren't supposed to make contact, Oh yeah, right? yeah, I mean, it's, it's the NFL, bro. It's, it's football. I mean, not even NFL, it's football. And, and you know, being competitive, you know, he's out there trying to um, work at his craft. You know, he's been working all off season to get back out here. He's he's bigger, he's stronger, he's faster. I talked to him, I mean, I, I can tell. Um, so, uh, you know, he's excited to get out here. I'm excited to work and get better. It's just, you know, just compete. And of course we want to stay off the ground, but um, you know, if it happens to go down, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll bite it. KJ, from your perspective, how would you describe this defense you're facing day in, day out? Oh, man, like I said last week, man, exotic. I mean, they're they're moving so much. Uh, you know, they're disguising coverages, things that are, are supposed to be man looks and may end up playing like zone. Um, you know, we were, we were laughing about, you know, on the offensive end, like, you know, we will usually have a whole week to prepare for this type of defense. Um, and that's just the, the back end. I mean, the, the D-line from what I'm hearing, the O-line, you know, they're moving, they're stunting, they're, I, I hear them say move and shifting and all types of stuff. So um, that's exciting. That's exciting because we see all these crazy looks out in practice. So, you know, come the fall, um, looks will be easy. KJ, I know it's really early on, but what have you seen stand out about Byron Murphy and just what he brings to the defense? Definitely a vet. Um, a vet, he moves very well. Um, he's very patient. He knows when to use his hands, when to use his feet. 
Um, you know, Zach, we, we've competed against him a couple of times before. So, um, you know, he's, he's everything as, as advertised. Um, you know, I'll be excited, especially in the slot, to, to go against him. He'll make me better, and I'll make him better. What do you see from your own line up front? Now that they've been together um, a little bit, now it's second year, obviously, in the offense. Uh, talking to Ezra, he says, you know, things are much more calm. Right, exactly. Like, much more calm. Just as, as, any, as anywhere, you know, if you've been working with someone for, you know, one year, and, you know, year two is going to be a little bit better. You know, they've, they've been in the fire together. They've communicated together. Um, again, second year of the offense. Um, so, you know, just the communication and the feel, you know, working together with each other, um, you know, I think they're going to do a good job. Yeah, I think Kevin was saying they're already figuring out problems mm -hmm. that are ahead of the OTAs where they were right. last year. Right, exactly. Like I said, because they've been in the fire before. So, you know, they can they can talk about it, look at they've seen, and, you know, they can relate it back to something that they've been through last year. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a really big thing, uh, you know, when you talk about experience and, and you know, uh, facing especially, like, looks like that that we've been going against. And the hardest hitting question, are you ready for the softball tomorrow? I mean, oh, you were the man, stud right? last year. Right, yeah, yeah, I got I to gotta get my swing ready. Uh, you know, I think I, I think I won the home run derby mm -hmm. last year. So, uh, you know, I'm excited for it. Um, so hopefully everyone comes out, and I'll definitely be excited to see everybody. Everyone's talking about Andrew DePaula. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Right. No, no. He, Andrew, he's he, he he's going to be coming for the title. So, uh, you know, he taught me some tips last year. So I'm going to have to uh, see what I can do.